Today I wanted to talk about why Survivor is 10 times harder than Killer is in Dead by Daylight. This is May 2023 that I'm talking about this right now. So this is a hot take, right? In Dead by Daylight, playing as a Survivor is more challenging and requires more skill than playing as a Killer. So Killers possess these unique abilities and have the advantage of controlling the pace of the game, but us as Survivors especially in solo queue we need to rely on teamwork strategy and adaptability to overcome the odds stacked against us in addition our individual abilities are less powerful than the killers because we don't have any special abilities we only have perks and stuff right so this makes cooperation communication crucial for success I think she's missing all her shots all right. so ultimately survivor experience is more demanding and requires a high, higher level of finesse to achieve consistent victories, right? So this is a popular game, right? Dead by Daylight. It offers two distinct gameplay experiences, right? So that you can play as the killer or the survivor. While both roles do require skill and strategy, the survivor experience is arguably more challenging <laughs> and demands a higher level of finesse. So in this video, I'm going to explore the various aspects that make playing as a survivor more demanding than playing as a killer in Dead by Daylight. Keep in mind, this is just an arguative, argumentative hot take type of video, and I am arguing for the side of survivors, but I can also make a counter argument to everything I'm about to say but just stay tuned so my first point teamwork and coordination I spoke about this earlier survivors must rely on cooperation and communication with other players to succeed whereas killers they operate independently Working together on gens, coordinating rescues and sharing information about the killer's location and actions, all, all of that requires effective communication and strategic thinking. So a lack of coordination among survivors can lead to quick defeats, quick 4Ks for the killer, and this emphasizes the importance of teamwork. In the killer side, you don't, you don't have teamwork. You're, you're here to destroy teamwork, you're here to kill, you're here to... S like, just put survivors on hooks, right? My second point. We don't have any actual individuality as survivors, except the perks that we're given. So survivor perks and abilities, generally just less potent than those of killers. So it makes this super crucial for survivors to optimize their loadouts and strategies. Whereas with certain killers, especially like Nurse or Blight, your loadout your base kit is so good with those killers that your loadout isn't necessarily as important, especially at the average MMR. We're talking about average games, average gameplay, average players. You know, definitely the casuals, right? So we need to, as survivors, we need to carefully choose our perks, our items, add-ons to create effective synergies and maximize our chances of survival. And in those perks, like I going with the first point, they to get maximum efficiency, right? We have to coordinate those perks with our teammates, but you can't do that in solo queue. You can't coordinate that one or two people are going to have reassurance to prevent a hook camp. You can't prevent uh, coordinate that one or two people are going to have prove thyself and split on generators and stuff like that you don't have that you have to work on uh you have to just choose perks that are just good for, for yourself and that's what effectively can make the solo queue experience just way worse because we can't communicate why i think an easy way to fix this or at least to help it alleviate it is the devs can show each survivor, it, as at least from our point of view, obviously the killer shouldn't be able to see this, but we should be able to see all of our teammates' perks before the match starts. You can do this on Dead by Daylight Mobile. You can't do this on the main game, right? So that's crazy. All right, leading to my third point. Actually, no, one more thing. So yeah, never mind. My third point. 
Okay, adapting to various killer strategies. Killers don't have to adapt to survivor <laughs> strategies, really, right? If survivors are just, you know, doing meme squad things where they're where one person's always running around next to the person you're chasing trying to get a flashlight save, that's one less person working their objectives. That's one less person doing gins. That's one less person uh, speeding up the game and uh, the in-game collapse uh, in the inevitability of all of that. So that's good for you. So the killer's play styles is strictly getting kills necessarily. I'm talking objectively just playing the objective uh not necessarily having to do meme builds and all that so this whole video is talking about the effectiveness of completing the objectives so solo queue survivor experience way harder than just the basic killer experience as far as it, having to complete the objective escaping the match escaping the trial or getting kills like a 3k or 4k objectively it's harder each killer right Possesses unique abilities and playstyles, forcing survivors to adapt and develop new strategies for each encounter. And it could be different every time, right? Depending on each of the various killers, each of their very unique different powers and stuff like that. Uh, where some killers are more able to control different zones. Some killers can just get across the map fast. Some killers can throw a hatchet at you from across the map like this huntress I'm playing against right now and we have to adapt to these different types of play styles but killers they just their main focus keep us off of gins and kill us right that's basically it so survivors need to learn to identify and counter various killer tactics such as camping tunneling patrolling or zoning gins ouch she just hit me with that hatchet in patrolling gens and the ability to adapt to different killers and you know their respective strengths is a key factor in survivors successes right all right my next point pressure and time management okay so, survivors, they have to face constant pressure from the killer, forcing them to make quick decisions and manage their time efficiently. So, in this survivor experience, you have to juggle so many different objectives, such as completing generators, rescuing teammates, preventing your teammates from even getting hooked in the first place, like I just... <laughs> and evading the killer... And this, all, all of this adds to the challenge of playing as a survivor. And then you have the need to balance time-sensitive tasks while under duress. And this further illustrates the demanding nature of the survivor experience. So that's pretty much most of my points. Um, so... We're still, I think, pretty far from this match even ending. But I will come to the conclusion here. Um, yeah, so while both killer and survivor roles in DVD present their own unique challenges, I think that the survivor experience requires more skill, especially the solo queue survivor experience. More skill takes way more skill and strategy due to the need for effective teamwork the comparatively less powerful abilities and the necessity uh, golly the necessity to adapt to various killer strategies and the constant pressure of time management so as such mastering the survivor role can be considered a more demanding and skillful endeavor within this game this game that is dead by daylight there's just so much that you have to learn and adapt to. Whenever you're playing killers, uh, it's way easier to pick up on what that killer's power is and how to utilize it. But as a survivor, especially because there is a large percentage of the people who play this game 
who just play one of the roles, like who play a survivor, who play a killer. And you'll see it constantly, time and time again, especially on social medias. Oh, you're a survivor main. Or, oh, you're a killer main. Killer main this, killer main that. Survivor main this, survivor main that. The community is divided into these two main roles when there are lots of people who are like me who play both roles very equally. So I am not a survivor main making this video. I am not a killer main when I make another video arguing the counterpoints of this video. <laughs> but... Yeah, I think it's just... Yeah, I don't even know. I, I just I keep taking these rabbit trails into places. But, I mean, I've been talking this whole time while playing <laughs> a match. Uh, I guess, yeah, it, 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 it all makes sense. Oh, gosh. She just keeps running between these two games. But, yeah, okay, what was I... I, I was saying this. Especially if you're playing only as Survivor. You don't know. Unless you play both sides, buy all the DLCs, and learn how to play each killer. You don't know effectively how each killer actually utilizes their power. And how to counter it until you've played them against them maybe so many times, right? If you've played against this Huntress so many times, you'll know, like... It takes her a second, you'll hear a little sound cue when she winds up her hatchet. And that's whenever you can break line of sight so she can't throw a hatchet directly at you. And you'll know to just be patient, take your time, walk so she can't find your scratch marks and track you. And stuff like that, but that takes hours and hours and hours of experience. Whereas a killer can jump into a game, they see survivor, they kill survivor, put survivor on hook. Ooh, done. Right? So, I guess that's just what, uh, the whole point of this video is about uh, talking about the different <laughs> the differences between these two main roles and why I do objectively think as far as you know as far as this video goes a hot take video right and for the sake of it objectively solo queue survivor is a much harder experience and takes a lot more skill to master and requires a high, higher level of finesse so Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I would love for you to disagree with me. Tell me what your counter arguments are. Because I am going to be working on a video uh, very similar to this that argues the opposite. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Do you have a harder time playing Survivor? Do you have a harder time playing Killer? What are the main struggles that you come into contact with whenever you're playing Survivor? And vice versa on Killer. Uh, and do you, pl do you play with friends more often than not or do you play only solo queue tell me what you guys think in the comments below please like and subscribe thank you for watching have a good day until next time tired marine